Hi, my name is James Hanbolt, and I am a new developer for all things Light Raider. Before we begin, I want to thank all of our subscribers and followers uh, for opening the emails, for continuing to support us, for commenting on the social media sites. We can't tell you how much we appreciate your patience, your understanding, and your participation as we work on bringing new games to you. And we know that's going to be a while, so in the meantime, we ask that you continue to follow these newsletters and that you spread the word. If you're finding us on YouTube or social media, you're seeing this video and you don't know who we are, definitely look in the box below, find our website, and go and uh, look into who we are and maybe follow the newsletter. So this time we are talking about Starlots and inking Starlots. Um, I want to first tell you some things about the Starlots that you might not know. For instance, if you have a star lot and you look on the one face, uh, you might find a little G. Not all of them have it, but many of them do. And what that little miniature G to the lower right corner of the one facet is, uh, it, that's a maker's mark for game science. Game science and even some testing done by Forbes magazine says that these dice with these precision facets on them are more random than other types of dice. When you're rolling a faceted or a, a precision dice like this, then uh, it's important that you don't roll this way. Uh, the proper way to roll a precision die is to shake it up in your hands and drop it like that. Something else you'll find on a non-tumbled precision die is that mold point. Every die has that little rough spot on the uh, on one of the minor facets and that's there because you can't tumble a precision die and that that would take away from its precision and uh, if you're interested in uh, sanding, sanding that away you certainly can you can use uh, the same kind of tools we use to work on gaming miniatures uh, to sand away that that mold point and maybe we'll do a video on that in the future so what we have are uh, the crayon which is the original way from Dragon Raid. Uh, if, you were, if you got the game back in the 80s, it came with the white crayon, and that's what you use to fill in the numbers. We also have uh, some gel-type pens, so we're gonna look at those and the pluses and minuses, and then paint pens. Uh, I also have uh, some microfiber cloths and a standard handkerchief with, uh, that's been uh, moistened just a little bit. The last thing on the desk is glass polish, and that's uh, cerium oxide, and we're going to use that to uh, grind away some of the paint when we use, we use the paint. Um, so let's get started. Okay, you might notice that I am wearing these blue protective gloves. That's because crayons are so dangerous. No, that's not because crayons are dangerous. It's actually because we will be using the cerium oxide later. And uh, it is an abrasive. It's a glass polish. It's extremely fine. It can get everywhere. So it's important that when you're using cerium oxide, even uh, infused into the microfiber cloth like I've done here, that you use the protective gloves so that you don't get it into your, into your skin. So safety first. Okay, but the first way that we're going to show you how to ink the dye is the simplest and easiest way. It is the use of a crayon. And uh, most of you probably already know this. You just rub the crayon over the number and then uh, you can probably just wipe it away with a finger just like I'm doing now uh, or if you're a little bit OCD like me you can rub it away with a moist handkerchief uh, and just with a little bit of elbow grease here we have this nice lovely five all filled in and believe it or not that's going to last a very long time. The next thing we're going to talk about are the gel pens. Now I've got several different kinds here. These are the uh, jelly roll pens, these three here. Um, the white, as before, is always the most visible. My second favorite is the silver. Uh, the silver looks a little bit cooler, but it's not as visible as the white. And then also you can use gold, but be warned, if you use the gold pens on the yellow starlots, the amber starlots, it's, it's not going to show up, uh, and you'll find yourself squinting at the numbers a lot during gameplay. So these are one type of uh, gel pen. Another type with gel ink is the Uniball type pens. This is a Signo Uniball pen. And this is my absolute favorite of the gel pens. It's extremely easy to use. The ink flows really, really nice. 
um, and it wipes away clean uh, from the facet once you're done without wiping away from the numbers. The downside to these pens is that the uh, the ink is not uh, the ink is water soluble. So even if it says permanent ink on the pen like this one does, um, that means permanent ink on paper, not on acrylic. So the ink is water soluble uh, and it will wipe away over time. It'll wear away over time. Uh, if you get sweat on it, anything like that, they come out very quickly, and very nice, but they don't last forever. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just writing it. I'm using an eight a 0.8 millimeter uh, Uniball uh, Signo pen, and the jelly rolls over there are 0.7 millimeter. Anything larger, and it's going to be very difficult to write inside the numbers. Uh, and the 0.5s are just a little bit too small. Now, it's all right if you go outside the numbers on these, push a little too hard, you run into a rough spot somewhere, you're going to bump right out of the number and draw a nice pretty silver line right across the face of your die, and that's no big deal. So once you are done, uh, you really don't even have to wait for the gel ink to dry. Uh, the simplest way to get rid of the little bit of excess is just to rub a finger across it. And then if you want to clean it up just a little bit more, you can take a microfiber cloth or your handkerchief and rub, rub off the, uh, the excess. And you can see that comes out very nice. So our third type of inking is the paint pen. Now, like we said, the problem with the gel pens is that it, it's not permanent. It does wear away over time. You're going to have to redo them. It's no big deal because it's so easy with the 0.7 and 0.8 millimeter gel pens. However, if you want the permanent solution, that is the paint pens. And we have tried them all for you so that you don't have to. So has Game Science. Uh, Game Science recommends the Deco Color. Um, by the way, pro tip, don't shake those up with the cap off unless you want a silver splatter line across your glasses. I won't tell you how I know that. Um, but we, we have tried them all uh, just to double check Game Science's conclusion, and they are correct. Deco Color is the correct pen to use for these. Um, I've tried the Artistro pens um, and the Fine Point Sharpie pens. They are much more difficult to use. Uh, you can use them and use the same process I'm going to show you with the Deco pen. And the problem is, is the Sharpie pens tend to be gloopy. Uh, you'll end up with, with a big white puddle over one face of your die. And the Artistro paint is as permanent as it gets within minutes. So by the time you're uh, getting ready to wipe off the excess of uh, dry paint with your microfiber um, glass polish cloth, the Artistro is so solid that it takes a great deal of elbow grease to get it off. It will work but it's a lot more work than using the deco color. All right, so using the deco color pens, and again, don't shake these things up with the, the uh, tip of the pen off, or the cap off. They have, they're the metal tip that you have to push in a little bit to get the paint rolling. Um, but that extra fine point fits nicely into your numbers and you can just fill them in very quickly. Now, because it's a one of those paint tips that loads itself up, it will bleed out the edges of the, of the numbers. Okay, so we went away for a few minutes and we allowed the uh, deco color paint to dry on the uh, one hemisphere of the dye that we did here. And now um, we're back to the microfiber cloth with the cerium oxide. It's glass polish. Again, we're using gloves uh, to protect our hands. And I'm just going to rub away the, uh, the, the excess paint here. And with the deco color, that happens fairly quickly. And you can just wipe away the excess paint and it comes away very cleanly, very quickly, uh, and leaves a nice number 
behind. Nice inked number behind. All right. And once I do that, I usually switch to the other side of this microfiber cloth to get away most of the excess of the stearium oxide. I don't have any idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and then I go to the clean microfiber cloth to finish off the polish. And as you can see with the numbers I've done here, that uh, you end up with a, with a really nice inked number and uh, a clean face and actually the the glass polish polishes up pretty nice um, the uh, cerium oxide will get onto that mold point that we talked about earlier and just a moist handkerchief will wipe that away so that it's not highlighting that okay so that's what we've talked about we've talked about using the crayon the easiest way the fastest way and it's not going to affect the randomness of your dye if you if you roll them the way that they're designed you can uh, use multiple colors this is very fast and it will last a long time somewhere in this office i have a blue dye with white crayon probably this crayon uh, from 1985 and it still has the numbers they all look sharp um, but if you don't like that, you can use the gel pens. They are very quick, very easy. The, the excess runs, rubs away with the finger. The problem is that over time, they're going to wear away. Uh, and if you have sweaty hands, it's going to wear away a little faster. And then finally, we've been using the paint pens. The paint pens are permanent. They come out clean. And if you use the cerium oxide, I know that, that others use the paint thinner pens that, that wipe away. Those are difficult to use, um, and I think they mark up the faces, but if you use the polish and you take proper safety uh, precautions, I mean, you can get this stuff on, on Amazon, someplace like that, uh, and rub, rub them away. You end up with a nicely polished star lot that looks great and really well inked numbers. So that's it for this time, and again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to the newsletter. Please tell your friends about us and spread the word. Thanks a lot.